So welcome to my bedroom slash studio. This is my workplace and where I rest at night and go to bed. And yeah, I wanna share some of my favorite things that I have actually recently shared to Instagram and TikTok, which a lot of you have really liked. So I wanted to share this on with you guys on YouTube as well. Now, this isn't a typical video that I make on YouTube, but if you guys enjoy it, please let me know by giving me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't. So what I just brought in from Muji is a new shelving unit that I'm going to replace this with. I've had this for a while, it's from Ikea. It's a black five shelf high shelving unit and I've got my shoes on it at the moment. And I think it looks nice, but I want a bit of a change. So we're gonna swap this out with the new Muji shelf and I'm gonna put my shoes elsewhere. Actually kind of strange, but my room has this like protruding wall here. And actually what it is, is a cabinet on the other side of the wall. And I'm gonna put all my shoes there because technically this is part of my room. Okay, let's get uh, building in the new spot. Now I've wanted this for a long time now and to have it finally in my hands and to see is actually really, really exciting. Um, I got the SUS shelf from Muji. I'll throw up a picture in the um, stainless steel color. Oh, oh my God. It's, oh, you can already tell how it's gonna look. That's so good. Oh gosh. So compared to the other shelf I just had, this will allow me to put some art on the wall here and it's about the same height as everything else here. So maybe it will make the room feel a little bigger than it actually is. Also, excuse this dangly thing. This is gonna be a pendant lamp that I'm still waiting on the paper shade to come in, but soon this will be very, very pretty. Yeah, there is an ego. And in Ego, there is an English. So I got the shelf installed. I'd give this like a, a three out of five in difficulty for installing it by yourself. Got it done though. So let's just chuck it in the corner where it's supposed to be. And yeah, look at that. Fits like a glove. So I've got a lot of plans on what to do with the shelf, but for now I do have to go out for dinner. So I might leave this for the next day and then come back when we have more light in my room. Okay. So it's the morning of the next day. And as you can see behind me, I've filled out the shelf a little bit. I've put in some trinkets and books and things that I've had lying around on my desk. Just moved it over to the shelf to clear some space. So I'm a big fan of Japanese magazines and I've been collecting Kasa magazines and Popeye magazines for a while. These are just some of them that I've put onto the uh, shelf here, but I think it looks really cute from the side. This is probably my favorite book out of all of them. It's just like a magazine of cars and like, it's like detail shots of the car. And yeah, it's just really nice. I'm a photographer, so I really enjoy these kind of things. I've even got my photo books down below here. What I've enjoyed about this so far is probably just the mixed materials using the, like this little stone plate that I have. It's actually my mom's favorite plate, but I'm using it as like a jewelry holder thing. Um, it's actually really cute, but I'm just putting that on a little mat, which my girlfriend's mum made. So that's, Actually, that's really cute. <laughs> this is my mom's favorite plate and my girlfriend's mom's placemat. And it's really, really pretty. But I guess that's the mom's favorite things right there. <laughs> got a glass vase, incense burner. I've got this hay lamp right here. This is really cute because it's like portable through different levels of brightness. And typically I have this on my desk, but just for now, I'm gonna keep this here as a source of light. Further down on the shelf, I have a few more things. I've got these little crates from Hay. These aren't actually mine, these are my sister's, but I'm just using them as a reference because I do intend to buy some for myself, but they're kind of cute. And using them just as like a little storage 
unit for random bits and pieces. Uh, next to it, I have these two little ornaments that I purchased when I was traveling in Egypt. I didn't buy too much when I was over there, but I got these two guys. Um, the little jars and the heads come up and you can put something inside. I was using them as book stoppers for the longest time, but now all of my books are just flat on this shelf. I don't really need them. Just keep them here. But yeah, I guess that's my shelving unit for now. So this is the other side of my room. Yeah, this is my desk setup. Now, as you can see, my desk is actually a bunk bed situation. So my bed's up here and then my workstation is down here. I recently painted all of the walls. So everything's nice and bright. I've got this big window over here that gets light in around midday and then that pours into the room and with the white walls, it sort of bounces everywhere, which is awesome. But I digress. Let me show you some of my favorite parts of my desk setup. So my all-in-one computer solution is my MacBook Pro M1 chip that I got a few years ago. And to create a desktop situation, I bought the Apple Studio display. And uh, this thing's been absolutely beautiful. And to pair with that, I've got, uh, I've got this Logitech mechanical keyboard. Thank you, Logitech. You guys sent this out to me, so I appreciate that. As well as the Logitech MX mouse. Anyways, uh, you might be wondering where my computer is. It's actually underneath my desk. I've got it hanging on a bracket just so that it cleans my area up a bit and yeah, declutters the space. If I don't see clutter, my mind also feels decluttered. So it kind of works for me. I actually got this recently in Japan, but I have this tiny little figurine that I got from the Higuchi Yuko. Museum. He's very cute and he just sits on the bottom of my Mac Studio display right there. You may have caught it or not, but in the corner here I have a. Um... My mum got me this and it's my glasses holder. I wear glasses all the time, so I need somewhere to store it. And this little Otto friend, he captures it for me and he just sits right there. Very, very cute. Anyways, let me show you something else. So this is an Ikea pegboard that I recently installed and it's been really, really good. I was initially looking to buy the Uten Silo from Vitra. It's like this really cute, um, all encompassing like storage organizer thing that hangs on the wall. And I decided, well, that thing's like $500. So instead of investing in that, let me see if I actually use this kind of thing. So I ended up getting this Ikea pegboard set up and all of the little contraptions that stick on the pegboard are from Ikea as well. So yeah, this is pretty much it. As with other parts of my room, this is very customizable. So I had a tough time trying to decide what to do. Thankfully, when it comes to these decisions, I have Pinterest. Now I've been using Pinterest for a couple of years now and I think it's a great source of inspiration. You can just type in um, Muji shelf or Ikea pegboard setup and you'll see a lot of people posting their iterations of how they've customized it or whatsoever, whatsoever. And from there you can take inspiration from what they've done and use it for yourself. And yeah, this is what I've come up with here. I have a tray here that holds my fragrances and a little book here. I've got these two cups that just hold little pens and utensils and stuff. Uh, what do you call this? A hook. <laughs> I've got, <laughs> I have this hook here that holds my tapes. I've got another hook that holds my headphones, a row of hooks that holds my scissors, knives, keychains, and like keys and stuff. But yeah, uh, this white on white situation is very clean, very cool, and I'm a big fan. So these are from Muji as well. Um, I love Muji if you haven't realized. And it's like a storage unit acrylic. Let me open this up actually. It's an acrylic storage solution. Um, two shelves per box. I got two of these and I got them as, I don't know, just small storage for miscellaneous things. And they kind of just sit here on top of each other perfectly on my shelf. Initially, I wanted to grab this because I have a lot of little paint um, tubes but I've realized that I don't think it actually fits 
how I wanted it to. Yeah, it's just like a little too big. So I can put them in horizontally, but I probably can't fit as many as I thought I could. And I've got quite a few, so this might not actually be worth it. <laughs> okay, I figured it out. I can put those paints in this other plastic box that I have. Keep that there and then swap the contents of the other one, which are little, little acrylic paints and then put that in the box instead. <laughs> three more, can I fit three more? That makes a lot more sense. Flip them the other way around. Yes, we got it. Okay, well that works. I am happy with that. Just looking through all the stuff that I've been unpacking and packing and I found this. The two posters, I believe, two posters that I bought in Egypt. And I don't think I've looked at them since I came back. So yeah, let's check it out. I've got two. This one's quite beautiful actually. And then I have this one as well. They're both really pretty. I had been meaning to frame them for a while, but I never got around to it. Uh, maybe it's time to put this artwork up. This is the tree of life. This is quite cute actually. I wouldn't mind that framed. What a pleasant surprise. Now I've wanted one of these lamps for a long time. It's from Isamu Noguchi. He's a, uh, I believe he's half Japanese, like me. He was born and raised in, the, in New York, I think. He has a museum in New York at least, and he has all of his light artworks and sculptures. And I really like his work, and I thought I wanted one of his light sculptures, AKA a lamp, for a long time. But buying it in Australia is very expensive. So when I was over in Japan, I was in one of the Momo stores, and I actually found this, and it was the last one in stock. So I grabbed it. Went through the shops, but finally found the lamp I'm looking for. It was Niman, which is about $230. Yeah, I brought it back home and I really, really enjoyed it so far. But yeah, I got this lamp and I wanted to put this on my shelf, but I need to create a new PowerPoint on the bottom. So I might do that in the next few days. And yeah, this should be beautiful to sit there.